hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how you can use the free public mqtt broker by the hive mq okay so we will see how you can use mqtt explorer software to connect with this free public mqtt broker and how you can exchange the data between two of your mqtt client software so i'm going to open my mqtt explorer okay and here is the another instance of the mqtt explorer i'm going to open this two instance parallelly after that we want to connect with this free public mqtt broker by hivemq so here is the broker host name or ip address and here is the port number so i am going to use the broker host name or ip address okay i have copied it now we will provide that host name here okay in the both instance now in the name we will provide its hive mq broker so i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste it here after that what is the port number to connect so here if you go to website then here you can see the tcp port is 1883 so i'm going to use 1883 here and here also we are going to use 1883 after that here we don't have any username and password to connect with this hive mq free mqtt broker so we are going to leave this username and password field blank after that we will go to advanced options okay and in the topic we have to subscribe to one topic initially otherwise we won't able to read the data of that topic in another client so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one topic which is pylene underscore topic i'm going to copy the topic name i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to add this topic here and here you can see the mqtt client id so both client id are equal so that's not possible okay or that is not allowed so here i'm going to use underscore one so here we have used underscore two so now both of the client id is different so now the hive mq broker will allow the connection from two different clients okay now we can go back and we can connect you can see both client is connected now i can use this topic pylene topic i can you know provide any data like hello and i can click on publish you can see we have received this data if you use some different topic okay and if you publish that topic then you won't receive that data okay because we haven't added this topic while creating connection we have only added this pylene underscore topic while we have created the connection so only your client will receive the data for this topic so if i try to send the second message then also i can do it and if i want to update the message or if i want to send message from this client then also i can do that so i can scroll down i can select and i can hello there okay and i can publish it from here and here you will receive that topic so make sure when you are going to connect with hivemq free broker in the advanced option you have to select that topic which you are going to use if you don't select that topic then it won't allow you to exchange the information between two of your clients if you are using arduino if you are using raspberry pi or if you are using uh, python language to connect with hivemq free mqtt broker then also you have to specify this topic that we are going to exchange the data on this topic then only it will uh, connect properly and you will receive your data properly okay and make sure you have different client id in all of your clients so if you are publishing data from your arduino to hive mq mqtt broker and you are receiving the data on any SCADA system or any phone then the client id between arduino i mean the client id of your arduino and your phone should be different it should not be ideal okay so i hope this thing is clear and after that you just have to click on this connect and there is no username and password no certificate nothing okay and we can publish our data as per our requirement from both of the clients so i hope this thing is clear that how you can use this free uh, public MQTT broker by HiveMQ. You can also use their client, but uh, mostly we want to use this free MQTT broker for our testing purpose. Okay, so that's why uh, I do not prefer that we are going to use this client because whenever you want to work with Arduino or any gateway or any devices, you have your own client, you have your own subscriber, you have your own publisher. You don't want to use the another thing. Okay, for testing, you can use this. Uh, 
uh, browser based client but for actual scenario this type of client is there for our system like ignition scada neuron or your cap server okay and that time uh, you have to define your topic on which you are going to exchange the data so i hope this thing is clear that how you can use this free public mqtt broker by the hive mq so if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always comment on this video otherwise we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you